it's very cold around here. And did you know, in the year 1920, Satendra Bose and Albert Einstein predicted about a new state of matter, but they could not prove its existence. It was only the two scientists named Cornell and Weinman in the year 1995, they created the, what is known as the fifth state of matter or the Bose-Einstein condensate using gas containing rubidium atoms. So what actually happens? Let's have a look. I imagine what happens when we cool a gas. The gas particles, they t start to lose energy and they come together. They condense into the liquid state. This process is known as condensation under normal temperature ranges. Now here comes the fun part. Imagine what will happen if this condensation occurs at very low temperatures, like absolute zero or zero Kelvin or minus 273 degrees Celsius. Now these low temperatures are very hard to achieve and they can, they can only be achieved only in a laboratory. Now at these low temperature, the gas particles, they condense into a cluster they tend, they tend to remain in liquid state. It's called the supercooled liquid. But now, since they're losing energy, they do not behave like separate gas particles. But they fuse, they kind of condense together to form a cluster, or, and they behave like one super atom. So at these low temperature, the motion in the particles ceases. And hence we have the new state of matter known as the Bose-Einstein condensate. So we can say that this state of matter is characterized by super cold and super unenergetic particles. So if we arrange all these states of matter in the increasing order of energy possessed by the particles in them, then Bose-Einstein condensate will be at the bottom of the scale while the plasma state containing super energetic and super ionized uh, particles will be at the top of the scale.